please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, editor here with today's video. Coasting, what is that? And how does it manifest in your tires? That's the subject of today's faster class, literally faster class. When we start riding on the road, we're always taught brake, turn, and then when you can see your exit, leave the corner, which means gas or throttle. When you go to the track, because the road is defined, there's no oncoming traffic, there are no driveways, the track is generally smoother as a surface. That mantra, when you start and you learn at the track, is something that you then put into the track in terms of your riding technique because all you can transfer to the track is what you know. So what we're going to cover now is something that is generically termed as coasting. Well, what is coasting? Well, coasting is quite simply this. It is less than 20% of something. So what's our bottom line when we take our road mantra to the track? We brake. And then we let go of the brakes and we get the bike to the apex. So we are doing no braking, no accelerating. Coasting. Coasting can only be clearly visible on a rear tire because braking exerts a lot less force on a front tire. It'll still be there, but it'll be tiny and you'll have to look really hard to find it. On the rear tire, it becomes extremely evident. Is this bad? No. Is this wrong? Absolutely not. It is the state of your riding skills at this present time. Is it something that you can improve dramatically? Oh, hell yes it is. Absolutely. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.